Hello, I'm Aruna Ramasamy. I'm currently working at Electronica as a PhD student in AI and haptics. Oh wait, I'm here especially to wish you all a very happy Women's Rights Day. To all the women working in various disciplines like science, technology, arts, sports, literature. Let me uh, tell you a teeny tiny story about a kid who got smitten by science. To be precise, uh, more about robots, space and artificial intelligence. Oh wait, stories about me. As a little kid, little Aruna was so fascinated by what her dad was working with. It was all with cool instruments. For example, there was a soldering iron, which I was very fascinated about. Uh, it does extremely cool stuff, but they told me it's hot, so don't go near it. Stay safe around it. But then after a few days, I got gifted a do-it-yourself robo kit, and I got to use the magic wand, which was soldering iron. Skipping to five years from then, I joined electronics and communication engineering at Madras Institute of Technology in India. This paid me a lot of opportunities to participate in competitions, and it was an opportunity to also be innovative, creative, but also to experience failure. I failed, I learned, and I failed several again times, but every time I learned and came up with something even better. I still remember me and my best friend were working in this huge building at the top floor and it looked like a haunted building at night. Jokes apart, uh, the only thing which I remember keenly is that the people who surrounded me, I'm so grateful to them because my friends, parents, professors, they kept cheering me and giving me hope even when things didn't go as planned. But the result of these little struggles was the armatrix. Isn't he cute? This one is extremely close to my heart uh, because it made me aware of my interest and what I really wanted to do. And that's how I came up. Uh, to apply for computer vision, robotics, and machine learning as my master's program at University of Surrey, UK. This is the place where I got to live a dream to work with space, robots, and artificial intelligence, as I always wanted to do. I worked at the Surrey Space Center. So, do I stop here? No. Because I, my brain was asking for more things to learn, to think, to process, something more like in a research and development sector, but baby steps. So I applied for my PhD, a PhD in AI and haptics, better. PhD in AI and haptics and electronica, much more better and very much fun. So now I do research and research with a purpose. This is what makes my heart smile. But the best part about this whole PhD program and the next two years is that I work with most wonderful people one is my supervisor, Professor Winston Hayward, and next, my team lead, my R&D team lead, who is Damien Fo. What is my thesis? In short, if there is an interaction between two objects and the corresponding haptic effect is something that you want, instead of creating it manually, I'm trying to use AI and machine learning techniques uh, so that I can synthesize the haptic signals corresponding to that particular interaction. As a kid, who is extremely dependent on her parents, was scared to stay away from her country, friends, and family. I found my way to live alone, to be independent, and oh, I go boxing, so I can take care of myself. The driving force in me has always been the yearning to learn and to explore. I'm sure every woman out there also has this catalyst that makes you wonderfully just remember something. You are beautiful in and out. Your mind is your greatest sport and your heart is your greatest cheerleader. Again, happy Women's Rights Day to every pretty woman out there. Take care. Thanks for listening. Bye bye.